Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we're going to talk about downloading mods from worldofmods.com. Although this also works for any place you get a download where the zip file is messed up. So just stick with me. From World of Mods, uh, go to cars. Well, click on the Beam NG section, go to cars, and then pick a car that you want to download. In this case, it's by manufacturer pretty much. So we'll pick a Cadillac. You can see here, we'll scroll through some of these and uh, I don't know. We'll just uh, <laughs> see what's in here. Oh, they got an Escalade. CTS is all right. We're going to take the CTS from 2017. Why not click on the uh, icon here? And then uh, when you do that, it'll take you to the download page, but do not click on anything until you scroll down on the page. You're going to see all kinds of download links. Do not click any of those. You will see a little blue box and just below that blue box, it says download the zip file without installer and that is what you want that will take you to this other page you'll see this kind of moving bar here and eventually you will see a timer pop up and it's going to count down from 30 seconds now when it gets done you should get a green download button on the screen you can click on that that will bring up the box to save make sure that you are saving the zip file save it to your downloads and hit uh, save from there depending on your speed that's how long you know it'll take you to download the various mods and then once the mod is downloaded you want to click on the zip file and that should open it up now you're going to see it's got this copy to game folder thing and that is not what we want so we're going to have to extract all the files and by default, it should show the extracted files when it's complete. So you want to make sure that that option is checked. This will take you into the downloaded folder that you've got. When you go into that copy to game folder, you're going to see there's a vehicles folder. And so what you want to do is you want to right click on the vehicles folder go down to send to and compressed zipped folder that will zip everything up from the correct place. Now it will give you an opportunity here to rename it. So I would rename that zip something that makes sense. In my case, CTS. Once I've got that zipped renamed, then I want to right click on the zip file, go down to copy, go into my beam NG drive mods folder for the current version that I've got, right click, paste and jump into the game. Now, once I am in the game, I want to uh, hit escape. I'm going to go to vehicles and we are going to click on the Cadillac CTSV. From there, you can see we've got several different flavors to choose from. So I don't know. Why not? How about a Cadillac CTSV police car? <laughs> sure. Why not? And I know, no, it's CTS five. I'm sure, but I'm going to say V because why not? So there you go. It'll take a little bit of time for it to come in, but once it does, you've got the mod in the game, or you should have the mod in the game. Now, I will tell you that uh, if you go through all of these steps and the mod still does not show up in your mod list, um, then there's a good chance that the mod itself is not compatible with the version of game you have, but it's also just as likely that there's something else messed up with the mod itself. So you definitely want to be careful of that. You want to watch out for that. So hope this helps with downloading files specifically from world of mods because 99% of them are not configured correctly, but this also helps, like if you get a mod from uh, a Google Drive link, then a lot of times they are set up very similar to this, where you have to open up the zip file and dig a folder in until you get to that vehicles folder, right click on the vehicles folder, then uh, you want to zip that up, add it to compressed, wherever you want to call it, give it a name and then put that folder or that new zip file into your mods 
folder. So there you go. Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm David Anark. Have a great day.